Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm out today, as you can see, on the farm, and uh, I literally just got here. Um, I'm going to head up into the upper fields. T2 again today. The little shovel. Don't lose the little shovel. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's have a hunt, see what we can find. It is sunny as you can see at the moment, but again, we've got this uh, this greyness over here. But up here, we've got a uh, lovely blue sky and white fluffy clouds. So it's rather warm, but uh, yeah, we'll crack on. I've got to I'm gonna go up here through the gate, then further up through another gate, then further up again to get to the fields that I want to be in. That's providing the cows are not in them again, but we'll see. All right, hang tight. Well, I found the cows, they're in that field there. I've just come up under that, uh, uh, through that gate there and bridge. And there's the cows up there. So I can't go in these fields here, but uh, I've got two fields across here, big fields as well. And now it's starting to rain, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, there's, uh, there's nowhere for me to hide from the rain. And I've no jacket with me as well. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> wow. It just absolutely bucketed down. I don't even see the, the rain on me at the minute, but uh, yeah, absolutely bucketed down. And uh, I've taken shelter behind this, uh, this cattle feeder. <laughs> I could have gone down to the, uh, down to the bridge there, but uh, means hopping back over the fence and faffing about with the detector and all getting back over there and all the way down to there and then all the way back up again so I thought I'd just hide behind this cow feeder but it looks like it's stopping slightly now so right I just literally set the machine up as well so anyway let's uh, get on with this uh, otherwise we're gonna be here all day aren't we all right back shortly right well that's a solid 86 87 89. Straight up saying that's a coin that. Right, let me dig this. See what it is. Right, well, it's not a coin, but it is something. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's see. What on earth are you? Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit of copper pipe. I bet you that's what that is. Let me just check the hole. Yeah. Oh, that's rather disappointing, isn't it? It looks like a bit of farm scrap. Let's, uh, let's just go over that again with the detector, see what it says. Yeah, apparently it's a coin. 88. Bang on. Coin. Ah, well. Oh, we'll carry on. <laughs> well, my word, is that beautiful? field that I was in is severely lacking in finds. <laughs> um, I'm just walking to this side field, the cattle are just up there. One of them spotted me, I think he had the GoPro switch on. I just staring. But uh, yeah, this uh, this field's closed off so, so I can get through this gate and uh, they won't follow me through there. <laughs> I sound like a right chicken, don't I? But, those things, those big cows scare me to death. And they've all got calves as well, so I think they're really they'll be quite protective of the calves, so best to steer clear in my book. Right, let me get over this one. We'll get into this field. Right, well, I've got something in here. Oh dear me, it's been a long day. And I can see it, I think that's a coin. See the edge there? 
Oh god, I hope it's a coin. Yeah. Huh. It's not a coin. You know what that is? That's a piece of World War II uh, anti-aircraft shrapnel. Yeah, there you go. So that's a bit of the uh, the timer. I keep finding bits of the shrap the shrapnel up here. Look at that. There you go. World War II uh, A199, I believe it is. Um, I'll double check and I'll put it on screen, but uh, but yeah, I think it's a Type 199 anti-aircraft shrapnel. That would have been the nose that the, where the fuse was screwed into the shell itself. These are uh, screw threads around here. Oh, dearie me, it's taken some time to find that, I tell you. <laughs> oh my god, what a day. <laughs> At least it's warm and dry anyway. Well, I say warm and dry, it's very, very um, humid, very sticky today. Right, I'm going to carry on for a bit longer, so if we can't find something better than a bit of uh, anti World War II anti aircraft sh shrapnel. <sighs> Back soon. Well, we've got another find. You see it just there? You make it out? I think that that is something. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm not going to go crazy on that. I'm going to clean that when we get home, see if there's anything on it. Um, interesting. Stay tuned for that one. Because uh, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's. I don't. I, I don't want to say it. Let me get some water out. Hang on. Well, the water was no help, really. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to take that home and carefully, uh, carefully look at that. See if we can get a close-up photo for you. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely got some age to it. I wasn't going to say what I thought it was at first. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to see if anything comes out. I can't decide if I can see something on there. Right, let me put this in the bag safe and, uh, and we'll carry on. Well, there's the next hole. Oh, I'm green crackered. I've been up to, to the top here and then I've worked my way back down again. And that's the next find. I suspect that's part of a toy aeroplane, you know. The, the, like the tail of a toy aeroplane that's what I think that is now I have found um, toys on here before I found a, a spinning top um, uh, the little cheeky monkey and um, a couple of other bits and bobs but, uh, but yeah I think that's part of a toy aeroplane that you know um, probably World War II, one, one era maybe had supports underneath the, the tail tail wing. Anybody's guess. We'll take it home. We'll clean it. We'll see. Well, there's the next find, and it's just sitting on the end of my shovel at the minute. <coughs> Looks like a lead weight. Oh, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it is. Does it be a plumb bob? Huh. No, it seems to be hollow on both sides. Well, that's a strange thing. It's a whistle. Holy shish kebab, it's what's left of a whistle. I'm certain that's what's left of a whistle. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Ooh. Okay. Right, I wonder if that's a hawking whistle. What do you think? I've never seen one before. Oh, not with him in my hands. <laughs> uh, right, I will take that home, obviously, <laughs> and I will clean it up. But it certainly would have had a, a lanyard through there, a string or something. I think that's a hawking whistle, you know, with it being so small. We'll take that home, we'll get it cleaned. That's really nice. If that's what I think it is. I've clouted it with a shovel, unfortunately, but you can't have everything. 
Oh, I do hope that's a hawking whistle. Right, I'm on my uh, way back to the car now, so uh, so we'll head home very shortly unless I get any more fines. Well, there's a coin. It's just me, me just breaking it open there. There we go. Wonder what that is. Um, let's see if I can get you in some decent light and out of the wind as well. Here we go. Uh, yeah, another one to clean up at home, I think. I hope we might get something off that. We might. Uh, now, don't hold out hope. Don't get overexcited. It might just be a modern penny. I think we can see something just there. Right. In the bag we go. Clean up at home, photos I'll put on. <laughs> 